today I'll be teaching you guys how to dice stack. Let's get right into it. Okay, first off, what type of cup do you want? Don't bully me. It's my sister's cup. It's the best cup I have. You want to find the best cup that is straight up. This isn't straight up, but it's the closest cup to straight up that I have. The straighter up the cup, if it's literally straight like this, it's the best you can get. So the straighter it is, the better. Um, if you guys don't quite know what dice stacking is, it's, it's where you take a cup and dice first. And you you like get it in the cup and then you'll it'll end up stacking like that. I'll show you guys how to do this in, in that that in a bit, but Go ahead, pause the video, and get your dice, get your cup, and I'll see you in a second. Guys, now that you're back, tips on how to dice snack and oh, mistakes beginners make. People like me, I'm still kind of a beginner. I'm not really a pro at dice stacking. I also don't have the best cup. But some tips, some tips I have for you. So you guys don't screw up on things I do and things that other people commonly screw up on when dice stacking. One thing a lot of people do is they'll be dice stacking and the dice will fall out of the cup. Which you don't want, of course, because it's not going to work. So when you're dice stacking, you want to be shaking it like this. Also, if you hear a noise, you might have doing good I'm getting more dice. if you hear a noise like this this means you're messing up but if it's quiet like this it means you're doing it correctly it means it's ready to be placed down um so that's one tip beginners um that's one screw up beginners make is they don't tilt the thing enough and then it just falls out Another thing is, if you're just wanting to know if you're doing it correctly, if you don't hear any noise, you're doing it pretty well. Um, one thing is, when you hear, I'm trying to get this as close as possible. You want to try to, like, not a ton, but you want to, when you get really, really close to the dice, drag your cup on the ground, and as soon as you hit it, you turn the cup, and it'll go in like this. Okay, another tip on what you want want to do. You want to do this while dice stacking. Let's just say I have the I have this um I have the dice in my cup, and now I just need to get on the table and in it and it has to be stacked. You're shaking it. You want to get as close to the table without hitting it, and then you want to get on the ground. You want to go back and forth a couple times. And I screw up all the time doing this. I will lift it up fast. And the cup, will e the cup's wind from going up fast will either blow it over or my cup hits it. So, let's just say, I, I've done it, let's just say I've done everything correctly. My dice are stacked. Oh yeah, also you can do, oh, hold on. You can do two dice. So you can stack it like two or one if you just are trying to practice like are you getting it in the right you can do two three there's really no limit it's just how good you are i don't think anybody not not your average person has gone over six like i've gone five or i've done six a couple times but not many times because it's hard the more the more dice you get the harder it is also you, um, your cup can only fit a certain amount of dice. Like mine can only fit six. So that's the most I can do until I get a bigger cup. If I ever get a bigger cup. So let's just see. I'm going to show you a clip in slow motion of what it looks like when I'm correctly dice stacking it. I'm sorry that I don't have a clear cup so you can see what's going on inside of it.
that you guys would follow that, and yes, it is still statsunder.com. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be checking that, and I'll be answering them, probably. <laughs> I say that because I might not be able to. Um, that's really all I have for dice stacking. Just, really, just know all you need for dice stacking. Dice, a cup. It's pretty straight up. And a piece of surface. And then you just dice stack them. Well, yeah, that's really, that's really it. Oh, also, one more thing, actually. The best type of use, uh, dice to use, the sharper the edges, the better. So, this isn't really that good because it has like it has smooth edges and not pointy and like just a 90 degree quick angle 90, 90 degree angle so I hope you enjoyed see you in the next one